Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Would you like your robot wife to crush cans in her hands? What about ripping phone books in half? Remember I told you they were growing human muscles, organs, bones, and skin on robots? Well, you know you can't leave scientists alone for one second. So they started asking, what if we made muscles better than human muscles? And they did just that. Now, I know you're probably saying a hydraulic press has far more strength than a human, but they are trying to put something strong inside of a humanoid robot. So they can't produce a hydraulic press inside of a humanoid robot. So then along comes the creation of biorobotics or biorobots. Yes, that means meaty robots. You may know them as cyborgs. Well, cyborgs have been happening for a long time already. In fact, you've probably seen one and didn't know they were real. Quite a few of them have appeared in movies. Because it was a movie, you thought it was simply makeup. But these people are famous for being the first to do A, B, or C. And you're one of the few people who didn't realize why they were in the movie. And speaking of people, robotics and prosthetics have been married for quite some time. In fact, 50% of my research comes across prosthetics. They've been already announcing the man with bionic legs, bionic arms, bionic hearts, and even bionic brain parts, bionic ears, bionic eyes. Those are prosthetics with robotics, where one ends, the other begins, and you can't tell them apart. So in my other video, I talked about robots wearing human skin, having human muscles, human organs. It kind of went by with a whisper. I don't know why, but here's the chance to really get alarmed. Researchers and robots manufacturers have discovered and are already testing artificial muscles, skin, organs. Why bother with biotics when you can improve on humans? In their research, they're also making sure to not just use brute force. They're also making sure the robots can pick up butterflies, teacups, and cardboard without crushing it. In fact, the very first robotic research video I saw myself was one of them teaching a robot to see into the 3D plane, also known as the real world, pick up various objects, move them, and place them on a table. I can't find that research. And it seems that that research was removed from YouTube and the internet. However, new research has moved back into that space and magnified it even more with superhuman biorobotics. They had discovered that vacuums, liquids, and even air can create muscles that contract up to 100 times the strength of human muscle. In fact, they have created the muscles so strong that they have tons of poundage run over the muscles and not decrease the muscle nor destroy the materials. What's rather peculiar is that all of their discoveries came out of Japan. Remember in a previous video in this series that Japan was concentrating on soft robotics and the US is concerned with hard military robots seeing how many and how big of weapons they can mount on robots, which they used in the Bush and Obama military exercise. So these super strong robot muscles came out of soft robotics. Seems a bit ironic. So soft robotics that concentrates on social robots and AI, artificial intelligence that interacts with humans creates the super strong bio robots. So these robots can cook dinner, delicately picking up containers, food, and being able to lift the refrigerator to clean under it. So here's a question. Do you want a robot wife that can bench press you, lift a television from 1942, and crush all of the aluminum cans for recycling? Or would you prefer her having just 
human muscles and skin. Be sure to l like the video. Lately we've been having trouble with the YouTube robot. Answer the questions that are proposed in the uh, video. I'd like to hear from you. I enjoy hearing from you. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.